Hi, I am Muhammad Wizrin Bajizan and I will present about background of the company. Etihad Trading and Resource SDM Berhad was incorporated in 2020 as one of the organization with high commitment to add the value to the community. Their primary objective is to provide a great opportunity and additional income especially for the someone in need. Strengthen for a healthy and organic nature of business is also their main objective of for the future living. The company was operated in four core which is agriculture, training and education, food and beverage, management event and service. Their management team come from variety of industry and capable to handle their company mission and objective. Etihad Trading and Resource mission is to accomplish innovative and high quality project in order to maximize return or profit. Uh, next is to conduct various program and bring added value to the community. Lastly, their mission is to develop human capital of high potential and value. Um, Etihad Trading and Resource also have objective which is, which is to assist client with very implementation of their project and they have confidence in their ability to generate the consensus and commitment necessary for success. That's all. As for opportunity, opportunity are window of opportunity or change for something positive to happen in SWOT analytics. First opportunity that uh, Etihad have is potential for Etihad firm is the ability to expand and opening branch in additional area. This is because the company do not have many rival in the rabbit meat selling industry. For example, they may begin putting their item in supermarket where Consumer will be uh, more likely to notice the Etihad product uh, because they do not have other rabbit meat product from other company. Next is uh, Etihad company have has the potential to attract client who will purchase their good what whatever uh, whatever they do in person or online because. Um, in Malaysia, do not have many um, rabbit meat uh, company that sell rabbit meat because just Etihad product that have a sell man have many branch in Malaysia, so it have potential to attract more client. As for treat, treat are defined as anything that has the potential to have negative influence on. Um, uh, their organization from outside such as supply chain concern, market haven or labor, labor shortage. Furthermore, uh, as for it had growing rabbit feed, um, growing rabbit feed price, uh, feeding price are then uh, a crucial problem to the it had. This is due to the fact that price of rabbit food has impact on their um, budget rabbit price. It had require a large sum of money in order to purchase rabbit and feed them uh, because rabbit need uh, more food to eat, uh, eat as they growing. That's all. For the next slide, I will present about SWOT analysis. SWOT analysis is very important to um, all company. SWOT uh, consists for S strength, W weakness, O opportunity, and T threat. Strength are internal characteristics and resources that contribute to achieving a successful e in business. As for Etihad, Etihad have strategic location. Um, Etihad open a multi branch in Johor Bahru, which is Paroh, Palong, and Amping Barat. Tenggaroh is a popular tourism destination in Johor and Palung is conveniently location between Kuala Lumpur and Seremban. They may attract clients from different states 
Furthermore, Ampin Barat is near Singapore. This position is a very strategic sign. It allow to them attract client not only from Malaysia but also from Singapore and other neighboring country. Next strength of Etihad E, Etihad have high quality of product than other competitor. For example, Etihad have um Cecilia Rabbit. Flemish, Giant Rabbit, New Zealand White Rabbit and New Zealand Black Rabbit among of the variety of rabbit breed. Mm, furthermore, um, <coughs> it had also have um, very uh, exclusive heritage uh, recipe such as marinade rabbit with a Italian herb. As for weakness, weakness is a SWOT analysis area where company may make a improvement and they can be caused by external and internal causes that have a impact on the organization performance for the etihad uh, weakness is first etihad have low facility so it have problem to make a etihad have problem to make a large portion of product and may impact on company their company performance Next is Etihad lack of expertise. Etihad do not have uh, many expertise knowledge on rabbit livestock management. Knowledge is essential for achieving successful in business, and a lack of knowledge is a, the primary causes of the failure of the enterprise. As a result, for the organization to make more high quality item in the future, they must be aware of their field or of expertise. Next is um, Etihad lack, lack of marketing tool. Etihad don't use uh, don't do not use uh, fully of advantage of marketing tools such as Facebook, Insta, TikTok, and other media social. Mm, Etihad firm must increase it online present in order to have a change again uh, the um, um, have for the uh, against uh, competitor in market for example instead of promoting it rabbit good on social platform such as uh, Facebook and WhatsApp uh, it had may develop its own business website and social media platform on um, online WhatsApp such as Google and for the next slide is present about brand vision Etihad trading and resource SDM Berhad brand vision is to offering high quality and healthy product to the future next next I will present about designing brand architecture strategy um, first is brand potential under brand potential, we have three more brand, which is brand vision, brand boundary, and brand positioning. Uh, brand vision, uh, Etihad brand vision is to offering high quality and healthy product to the future. Uh, as for brand boundary, Etihad aim to give customer not only with high quality of raw meat, but they also um, ha um, give a variety of rabbit meat such as rendang arnab unke arnab and order cook meat rabbit to give people more um, option on selecting um, rabbit meat product as for brand positioning it had aim to give the customer not only with high quality of product but also to conduct various program that bring added value to the community and to develop human capital of high potential and value um, next uh, is brand extension. As for Etihad, uh, Etihad have line extension, which is Etihad is known for the healthy and organic nature of business and its raw rabbit meat. In order to cater more customer in the market, Etihad come up with more cooked rabbit meat. Since nowadays, people always um, search for healthy food, starting from um, younger and to until older people 
even though there are many competitor Etihad will use its unique feature to capture the eye of the customer and lastly uh, branding new product uh, house of brandy strategy Etihad di Kasih Kitchen is a new product line that is totally different from the other Etihad um, Etihad um, product that used to serve uh, which is cook, cook, cook frozen food that's all Assalamualaikum and hi my name is Noa Sheila Binti Aziz so today I would like to present my part which is brand positioning for new products Firstly is market segmentation. There are basically four methods for segmenting the market. First method is demographically. For the category kitchen, customers are classified by gender for all gender female and male. Each the majority tend to be between 21 years old to 50 years old. Income is middle income to high income level. Second method is uh, geographically size of the locality must be wide because to raise and breed the rabbit require a large area to provide comfort to rabbit location is must be placed that many people buy this product like Joho is one of the most people buy Dikasi Kri Kitchen products third method are behavioral Benefit that customers seek in this product is they can reduce their time to cook delicious food and also healthy food. Mostly, people were busy with their work, with their class or assignment. We repeat by this product in many quantities because this product also can be kept in freezer for a long time. Lastly is psychographic method. Interest is for a new customer that never ever tried rabbit meat in their life. While for opinion is we need to discard the opinion of people who say that rabbit should not be eaten. Because of that, people did not want to try rabbit meat. Next for targeting. The product can be eaten by children, male and also female. From my research, from the World Health Organization, he said that rabbit meat is a good food for children because of its nutritional and dietetic qualities. So we can target their parents to buy this product for their children. Next, for competitive frame, POP and POD. For point of difference, for this product is high quality of render. And also, the taste is delicious that other competitors cannot be able to copy the taste. While for POP, to keep this product in the market, is we need to make sure that this product can be stored for a long time. It is because finding a product ready cook where it can be stored for a long time is hard to find. So when this product can be stored for a long time, it will make customer we choose this product Better than others product. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Putri Alana Bihami Timanga Effendi and my metric number is 2020859392. And now I'm going to present about brand positioning strategy. So if you look at the pyramid, it shows the brand positioning strategy and it starts from the bottom. So first is salience. So salience is an identity. Who are you? And up from the salience is a group of meaning like what are you which is performance and also imagery and up from that uh, from meaning is response what about you which consists of judgment and also feelings and lastly is uh, relationships what about you and me resonance so first I'm going to start with salience so the salience of our brand is rabbit rendang and next is performance the performance of our brand is the main ingredient of uh, is the rabbit meat itself and the rabbit meat is a lot of healthier than any other uh, type of meat and also the product can be purchased can be accessed from every state in Malaysia 
and the price that is offered also affordable for people to purchase and next is imagery so the imagery of our brand is to recognize uh, is recognized for selling variety of uh, rabbit meat and next is judgment so the judgment of our brand is it only produce high quality of rabbit meat and also uh, we uh, the brand is considerate enough to make um, variety of flavor uh, so that it fits with the customer taste palette so next is feelings so the feelings that the consumer can feel from eating our product is that they can feel the excitement the fun and also the warmth and lastly is resonance and the resonance of our brand is loyalty community and also an active engagement next is brand element first brand name for this product is the Kasi Grey Kitchen for the logo we can see from the slide from the logo we can see it use fork and spoon to show that this product is about food so other than that uh, the fire at the logos shows that the food is being cooked freshly with the high quality of, of ingredients uh, for their characters, it can be stored for a long time and first ready cooked rabbit meat in Malaysia. For slogan, we create the best rabbit meat for you to show that the brand using the best quality of rabbit meat. Last but not least is secondary association for new brand. For companies, Etihad Trading and Resources in Jambarhat is the company for TKC Grey Kitchen. This product have three ranches at Kota Tinggi Johor, Marsing Johor and Gemas Negeri Sembilan. For CEO branding, Tika Secret Kitchen can pair with secret recipe to put the rabbits rendang in their menu. Next, next is celebrity endorsement. Tika Secret Kitchen can deal with one of the Malaysian celebrity chef. First one is Mael, also known as Chef Wan to make a chef one as one of their duta. Tika Secret Kitchen can use influencer to promote their product since nowadays people will always be interested to try product that are reviewed by influencer. And lastly is third party sources. Tika Secret Kitchen can use halal by Jakim in their promotion because they already get the permission from Jakim to use that. That's all from me. Thank you. Hi, my name is Nur Atira Binti Matjan and my ID student is 2020837228. Product strategy can be defined as what the product should achieve and how the product can support the organization and it, what it's brought to life through the product roadmap. This strategy outlines the end-to-end -end vision of the product particular on achieving the product strategy and the big picture context in terms of what the product will become. Companies utilize the product strategy in strategic planning and marketing to identify the direction of the company's activities. The Kasi Grey Kitchen provide a new product which is rabbit rendang that contains many nutrients and health benefit with rendang flavors. In producing this new product, we are committed to providing high nutrition and higher quality ingredients to create this pack of frozen food. This product is very convenient. It reduces the time in preparing which is ready to take out of the freezer, just heat and serve. Furthermore, Dikasi are adapting the traditional product to our local environment such as people in Malaysia have festive period for traditional celebration which is Hari Raya ID Fitri which is the special menu called Rendang. Made in Malaysia where most of the local seller focus on chicken rather than rabbit in producing their product. We have rabbitary expert to produce a high quality of meat since we adopted the rabbit from babies until it become the frozen food. We choose the matured rabbit by following the age before we cook the meat. Dikasi cre created this product with the higher quality ingredients and convenience to customer to consume in their daily life. Dikasi new brand product have their own special style that can be chosen by their consumers. Dikasi has provided a new product that can make their customer feel great while they choose to purchase the product. 
Dikasi provide many flavors in the market but the rendang flavor is very very hot selling and very tempting when people start to taste the food. In addition, we want to give the consumers a style of their own and allow them to experience a new style of rendang which is using rabbit that was adapted by the company itself and using the higher quality ingredients to make the new product retain the aroma and recipes. The color of the logo itself was produced in a three-tone design which is white, red and black to show the latest logo look more stylish. Through extensive research and development, Dikase now designed and produced their own design logo. The design of new brand product from the company, from this company, are unique to our market and representative of the Kase company. The design is spoon and fork since it is representative of ready to eat food. In addition, the grill picture represents the juiciness of the meat after it is grilled or cooked. It is the best if the consumer consumes the product using a grill. The fire in the logo represents the burning or heat method by the customer when they start to cook it well using a frying pan, air fryer or grill. As for the packaging, the customer will be packed using vacuum packaging which is good for the meat to stay the taste of the flavor. This is to ensure that our packaging is strong enough from breakage due to the physical pressure and to avoid deterioration of the meat itself due to the exposure to light and oxygen. Therefore, packaging material should have good sealing properties. Food package in the vacuum packaging keep better as the product is fully cut from the air completely. Vacuum bag product enjoy enhanced shelf life and keep the quality and integrity of the commodity in a much better way than normal packaging. For example, given a situation where our product is being mishandled during the process of distribution, the risk of the meat becomes spoiled and the sale will be low as we are using a good packaging for our product. Plus. With a good yet strong packaging material, we can also avoid wasting product which could affect our sales. As for our after-marketing strategy, we have decided to choose customer loyalty which is about creating and retaining a relationship with the customer. Customer loyalty is one of the foremost objectives in a business. Furthermore, we choose customer support strategies after marketing. Our customer support will include a few methods which are making sure that our business contact information is highly accessible in every platform including our official website and our support channel which is Instagram and Facebook account. For example, we will include a live chat feature on our social media account to help consumers in case they require anything from us regarding our products such as feedback and complaint. After that, provide customer frequently asked question feature as a way to help our consumer with any inquiry. Plus, it can also save consumer time as we will display all questions and answer in one place that is easy to access by everyone. As a new product release from our company, we have adopted the penetration strategy as the pricing strategy for this new product. This selection was made because our company cares about the need of customer because it will further strengthen the brand's equity for our product. Low pricing for this new product release, although initially this brand does not have high profit, in the long term, this brand will get attention from other customer because low price will notice customer to switch to new product and it will further strengthen the brand equity for our new product. Starting price business, the product produced by Dikasi Grill Kitchen will be an affordable product for the community. It offers lower price during its initial offering to attract customers to their new product. This will help the company to penetrate the crowded market. Therefore, as for our rabbit right now, we will choose a penetration pricing strategy as we are going to set a slightly lower price for us to enter a competitive market. Thus, the price will be RM28 ringgit for 350 gram for the rendang rabbit meat. Meanwhile, other competitors price we survey is RM39 ringgit for 500 gram which is the difference for the price is RM11 ringgit for 150 gram only. The Kasi Grill Kitchen try to make the product affordable to every customer. The price for rabbit meat will cost you RM45 ringgit for 1 kg if it was turned to frozen meat. So, Dikase make this new product easier with flavor for people to cook, heat, and eat. It will save people time from thinking what to eat and what to cook with rabbit meat only. Thus, we have decided to choose various distribution channels which are direct and indirect channel for our product distribution strategy. For now, Dikase 
Grill Kitchen will be distributed through our outlet and potential customer can finally reach our product in the market. For the sale of our product from the company, we choose to sell to customer through direct channel. Customer can go directly to the company on store to get information on the latest product. Not only that, but customer can also try to taste the sample of food that will be provided by our company. Furthermore, we will also be constantly updating information related to the production of our new product from our company to customer via social media. Customer will always get information through our company's official website. Our purpose is to provide information directly to customers so that they can directly see the latest brand product and they can go to the store owned by a nearby company to find out more. It also can make the brand equity stronger. Direct distribution will allow company to collect valuable data on customer buying habit, respond to product performance and customer feedback when people buy and test our product. Customer can get our product faster. Company can build relationship with customer and avoid sharing profit with a third party distributor. When our company stabilized in another month, the Kasi Grill Kitchen can use an indirect marketing channel to push our product available in the market. We will apply intensive distribution as we are going to send our product into many retail locations within a geographical area that we have chosen, which is Malaysia. For example, the Kasi Grill Kitchen will be available at various retail stores in Malaysia such as Maiden and Tesco. The main objective here is to sell as many products as possible that we could to get a higher amount of income in return. Plus, the more location carry the product, there will be more opportunities for us to increase our profit and the brand is well known in our customer mind. The following figures show how our product will be distributed in the market. There are many advantages of indirect channels such as a large potential audience to know our brand. Indirect sales can allow a company to increase sales quickly without having to hire more sales personnel. With indirect distribution, they can say Grill Kitchen gain a significant competitive advantage. The company will get access to an increased consumer base without the challenge of getting the customer through the door. This grant them more time to focus on their product, their customer base and increasing the range of their target consumer. Next, I will present about Integrate Marketing Communication. Integrate Marketing Communication is the integration of marketing tools such as advertising, online marketing, public relations, direct marketing, and sale promotion to the market product, to market a product. First, uh, inter uh, marketing communication tool is um, which is digital marketing. In order to publish Etihad new product, uh, we use uh, advertising tools such as social media media posts to advertising the uh, rabbit rendang product. From the research, we can conclude that this market tool was very effective and efficient uh, as we can reach a huge number of audience within a target our target period. Next is um personal selling personal selling include face to face interact with the uh, consumer with motive of uh, we can promoting the product and convincing the um, consumer to purchase the product regularly in it had new product also use this personal selling to uh, we use this personal selling uh, to nearest uh, audience such as uh, in branch Johor, we uh, we spread the uh, new product to all the Johor people. Uh, we next is um, advertising. Advertising is the non-personal and paid form of communication. Um, advertising also uh, have non paid form of communication. It um, advertising uh, is the most effective form of communication where it can reach a huge audience at within the short period of time. So in this Marcon tool, we use billboard um, to publish our new product. We create an easy design to reach the audience such as uh, audience that uh, at the traffic light, highway, or uh, at the city's building. Mm, as for the 
public relation. Public relation are a marketing tool of communication expertly drafted message using non-paid and earned media to build mutual beneficial relationships beneficial relationship uh, with the public for example um, we sponsor a television channel such as um, Malaysia hari ini and they will put uh, their product ads uh, at the bottom or at the uh, be beside the channel television uh, they will also advertise uh, advertising the product regularly through through the program such as, such as they will um, show the packaging of the our our product and they will advertise to all audience that see uh, the show that's all thank you so now is digital branding strategy so what is digital branding strategy so um, digital branding strategy is how we communicate about our brand to our cost our customers online so first let me tell you how the Kasegwe kitchen is created so itihar organization um, is created to provide job and opportunities uh, and additional income for the needy so there are three missions uh, for that organization which is first is to accomplish innovation and high quality projects in order to maximize in returns and secondly to conduct various program that bring added value to the community and lastly is to develop human capital and high potential value their objectives are to assist um, clients with various implementations of their projects and they have their full confidence in their ability to generate uh, the commitments that are necessary to succeed. That is why they started a brand called the Kasi Grilled Chicken and the main product that they want to sell is rabbit meat. So marketers need to familiar with asper experiential marketing to adapt with the increased number of consumers. So experiential marketing is to promote a product that is not only by communicating but also by connecting with other customer or with unique and interesting experience so the organization company or a business need to invest in creating to create a unique and interesting experience so that uh, the brand allow customer to enjoy the experience without them feeling that they are used for marketing purposes for example, the Kase Grill Kitchen create a product from rabbit meat, which is not uh, familiarized by many people. But if it's properly marketed and properly giving out the information about the benefits of rabbit meat and how it's prepared and how it's made, it can surpass with other meat that is produced. And as a bonus, they not only created one flavor from the rabbit meat, but various of uh, flavor of rabbit meat so that the customer can choose what they like so that um, it can fit with the customer taste palette. The next is brand engagement. This is an important phase as when customer is engaging, they are willing to invest their time, their energy, their money and also other resources. For example, customer may choose to join a club that is related to Dikasi so that they can receive updates and recommend the brand to other people. To relate with, uh, with online contacts, the customer might join several activities that will be more than just a mere purchase. That is include cross buying, posting reviews and, uh, and blogging, and word of mouth and referrals. So for example, when a customer of Dikasi bought their product, they might help the organization by promoting or making a review online or blogging a post uh, in the internet so that they want people to know about the Dikasi product. This is a voluntary work from the customer itself uh, without giving any instructions to them. 
so by what is the customer doing this can help the brand to be more recognized by others this is the example of simple future brand tracking survey for Tikasi Grill Kitchen. In conclusion, Tikasi Grill Kitchen create a very unique category product as it is different from what competitors always serve in the market. Tikasi Grill Kitchen can reach more customers as there are a lot of people who will love to try new rabbit meat. Tikasi Grill Kitchen is capturing the new market by creating rabbit rendang which is the supplier from the rabbitry itself. Tikasi Grill Kitchen come up with their new product which comprises their core value of always using high quality ingredient and fresh rabbit from their farm and making their commitment to reliability and adopting traditional food to the international point of view. The Cassidra Kitchen is dedicated to their work in this rendang rabbit to their current and future customer who always stand behind this commitment and support this business. Beside that, the Cassidra Kitchen focus their energy on solving customer issue, making a better product and restoring customer trust of the customer purchase their product to keep the company image. When people talk about the brand, people always think about external factors such as the product itself. But the brand is the embodiment of the company itself. The brand plan show every detail from the planning of the product until the measurement and control of the outcome of the product. Besides that, the Cassidy Kitchen focus their energy on solving customer issues, making a better product and restoring customer trust of the Customer purchase their product to keep the company image. When people talk about the brand, people always think about external factors such as the product itself, but the brand is the embodiment of the company. The brand plan show every detail from the planning of the product until the measurement and control of the outcome of the product. The Cassie Grey Kitchen will definitely capture the heart of a lot of people because of the high quality and affordable price to every customer. The way marketing is done in order to promote the product is also vital and was planned carefully. We hope that our Dikase Grill Kitchen will achieve the vision of the brand so that we will always become everyone's favorite.